Jamie Caldwell, one minute out. I want to talk to you about drawing our pistol from a concealed position or, you know, when we've got our garments, our, our everyday carry. Now, ideally, we want to be able to have both hands free so that, you know, the ultimate draw is to be able to clear our garment with our support hand and then go in with our firing hand, strong hand, whatever you want to call it, right? Our shooting hand, draw that pistol out. We're not always gonna have that perfect scenario in that situation. So on our training days when we're at the range, we need to ensure that we're practicing with both just our support hand and our firing hand draws for those situations. You know, one of them easily could be, you know, we're all at the store with our kids, whatever it may be, and they're hanging on one of our arms and, you know, we don't control when a situation is gonna happen. It just happens and we need to be able to react. So for this, let's talk about drawing with just our firing hand only, you know, whether our child's hanging on our arm or, you know, we go ahead and tuck our child behind us or our wife behind us or somebody to protect them from the situation. And all I have now is my firing hand to draw. Now it's, the fundamentals are all the same for every one of these. We need to ensure that we clear our garment first. So I'm gonna cup my garment underneath over exaggerate that that lifting of the garment to ensure that I clear my pistol fully and then you can just I like to just sort of pin my garment with my arm as I bring it up and then I go down and the draw is exactly the same right as if I had both hands doing this come down with my thumb along my body grab around the handle um, the lower of my pistol and then I draw straight out okay so support hand only or strong hand only I lift up come down I draw Okay, and then I'm going to push the pistol out. Now, let's talk about if this hand is still tied up and we're gonna engage now with only, you know, our firing hand or our strong hand. How do we wanna grip this pistol? What do we wanna do? Normally with our support hand, that's where we're applying all of the grip, right? We're just holding the pistol with this hand and all of our grip is coming from that support hand. I mean, we're crushing the pistol to be able to keep the pistol on target, control recoil and get shots down range, multiple shots down range quickly. Now that I only have this hand, I've got to change that grip up a little bit. Now we still want to ensure that we're not manipulating the pistol and moving it anywhere as we're pulling the trigger, but now I've got to apply all that grip with this hand. So as I draw the pistol out and I go to present and I prep trigger, now I wanna grip the snot out of this pistol, all right? Grip this Walther as much as I can with this hand, but again, try to be as smooth as possible on the trigger so that I'm not pushing the pistol off target, okay? So the draw again to walk through with just our support hand, this hand is behind us. Make sure we over clear that garment so that we have no issues, pin it up against us with our arm, come down, the draw is the same, bring it up and then grip the snot out of that pistol, push it out, all right, and we're going to engage the target. So let's go ahead and go through that once and see what it looks like. All right, when we reholster, Obviously, by the time we get ready to reholster, we should have that threat. Everything is eliminated. So now I should have my arm back. Okay, I want to clear the garment. Again, always look and then holster. All right, ensure that we know where that pistol is going every time that we reholster. <laughs>